students this is the 12th part of our second semester first one act play and that is riders to the sea which is written by jm saint so open your book page number 128 on this page number first dialogue first line and the first dialogue is of moria in a low voice but clearly now this time moria she was a mother of kathleen rora bartley and everyone she was speaking in a very low voice but clearly what she said it's little the like of him knows of the sea bartley will be lost now and let you call in a man a mom to take me a good coffin to make me a good coffin coffin it means look at the holes
She pauses. Pause it means stop for a moment. The girls start as if they hear something through the door that is half open behind them. So, after telling all this information, Moria stopped there for a moment and after that girls heard some kind of noise from outside of their house and that time the door was half open and through that half open they wanted to look who is outside or what kind of sound was outside. Then Nora, Nora said in a whisper, whisper it means speak in a low voice. Did you hear that Kathleen? Did you hear a noise in the north east? So Nora said to Kathleen, her younger or younger sister, that sister, Kathleen, did you hear that noise? That noise came from the northern eastern side. Kathleen, in a whisper, Kathleen also speak in a low voice to her younger sister Nora and she said, there's someone after crying out by the seashore. So, Kathleen said to Nora that definitely there is someone who is crying near the seashore, near the beach of that sea. Then, Moria, continuing without hearing anything. Now, Moria was not giving any kind of attention towards her, her daughter, Kathleen and Nora. She was in her grip, she was in her thought. And without listening anything, she started to speak again. What she said? There was... Shemus and his father and his own father again were lost in the dark night. So Shemus was her husband. She was telling here that Shemus and his father and his own father, it means Shemus was her young her son and Shemus father it means Moria's husband husbands and her father's father it means her um, father-in-law. So they were lost in the dark night and not a stick or sign was seen of them when the sun went up. And when the sun went up, there was a day. There was not a single sign of their death was found there. It means there was not a stick, not a shirt, not any kind of cloth could be found near that sea. So there was no sign of their death. There was Patch. Patch, this was also Moria's one son, one of the son. There was Patch. After was drowned out of the croc. Croc, it means. A small boat. That turned over. So, Patch. This son of Moria was drowned into a small, a small boat. When that small boat drowned into the sea water, that time he was also drowned and dead there. And there was not a single sign of his own. It was sitting here with Bartley and he a baby. I was sitting here with Bartley and he a baby lying on my two knees and I seemed to remain and three women and four women coming in. So that time when Peach was died, that time Bartley was a very uh, small child and that Bartley was uh, playing in his mother's knees, it means Moria's knees. That time Moria saw that two women came after three women and again this uh, she saw that four women came near her house. And they crossing themselves and those women were crossing themselves walking from this side to that side and not saying the word but they were not ready to tell a single word to Moria what happened while they came here. I looked out there and there were men coming after them. So after those women few men started to come near Moria's house and they holding a thing in the half of the red sail. Sail it means a piece of 
and was used to move a pole forward so there was a red cell it was a piece of canvas piece of cloth which cloth which canvas used to move a board forward that canvas that cloth was attached to the long wooden bar and in that cloth she saw something was held by those people or men and water dripping out of it drip it means to fall in drops so whatever in that red cell from that the water was dripping it was a dry day nora and living a track to the door so that was very dry day and nora there was a living only a track to the door she pauses again with her hand stretched out toward the door she stop again and stretched her hand toward the door it opens softly and old women begin to come in and slowly she open her door and saw that old women started to come towards her home again crossing themselves on the threshold threshold it means <coughs> door sill door sill it means lower part of the door door and kneeling down